Welcome back to You Can Beatbox. Today's episode revisits a topic that deserves a second look, inward drag. <laughs> and if, like, you could, like, give this video a like or a thumbs up, that would be great, thanks. And if you haven't seen yet, I actually launched a Patreon campaign. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel and contributing to the success of these tutorials, uh, the top link in the description down below is that Patreon, so thank you in advance. And on to Inward Drag, you're probably wondering why we're revisiting this sound if we already covered it back in tutorial 21. The reason for this revisit is because I was wrong and we didn't really learn Inward Drag back in that tutorial. When I put out that tutorial, it was before I fully understood the techniques and the mechanics behind Inward Inward Drag. So here is a full, updated, completely correct version of Inward Drag. Inward Drag is a technique that's made up of hard, sharp, inward sounds that is number one, a cool way to increase your flow and it's a cool sound, and number two, a great way to bring in air. And for context, it sounds like this. The mouth position that I use for this and what I've seen everyone else use is the inward case snare positioning. You place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth like this. But, unlike the inward case now where you want to pull in all the air in one snapping motion like this, for inward drag, you're trying to pull it by the sides of your mouth in a fluid motion that's not so immediate, like... Let's try a practice beat to get the positioning down. Once you have the positioning down for this sound, the next step for most beatboxers is to increase how fast they are with this technique so that you can do multiple drags in between sounds. So instead of you have or the way that I and a lot of other beatboxers like to break up the sound into individual drags is to cut off the airflow going in by resting your top teeth on your bottom lip. And caution, do not bite your bottom lip. This has to be done gently. It should be a very gentle touching of your teeth to your lip and should create a semi-stop of inflow of air so that you can get that definition between each sound and each break. Kind of like. <laughs> to increase your speed with this sound, try and practice at the edge of your comfort zone or beatbox along with inward drag to a song. But if you do want to practice beat to work on, <laughs> Comment below with any questions you have or any suggestions for how people can get better at this sound, and please do leave a like on this video. Thanks again for watching. This has been You Can Beatbox, and next time we're going to be taking a look at ways to improve your beatboxing stamina.